Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to make the presentation box for the card kit in a box that we made yesterday. I've got it all tipped out here. This was the card kit we made. We put four cards, four envelopes, um, four mats, four pieces of DSP, some strips of paper, um, some little embellishments, ribbon and lace, linen thread in a box ready to present as a gift now i'm going to show you how to make the box really super simple but it just makes giving over that card kit look a little professional i'm sure i mentioned yesterday i've been doing some research and they card kits start around eight dollars i saw one yesterday no day before yesterday 47 dollars and it made six cards. $47 to make six cards. So if you think your card kit in a box isn't a worthy gift, think again. People are paying up to $47 for card kits. So let's get started. It's really simple. You will need a sheet of A4 cardstock. I have this one right here. It's the colour I chose. I think it's called Soft Suede. It is a Stampin' Up colour. Yes, it is. It's Stampin' Up Soft Suede. It's out of the stash of cardstock. I like Stampin' Up cardstock because it's nice and smooth and it cuts nicely. Okay, it needs to be the full length, so 29 and a half centimetres for that. And we're going to turn it around and we are going to cut it at 21 21 centimeters so we don't need to cut it because that's how big it is okay so you'll use your a4 sheet of cardstock i'm using my paper trimmer to score it if you don't you might have a scoreboard if you've got a scoreboard use that if you don't have a scoreboard measure 2.5 centimeters from the edge get a ruler get a bone folder or um, a stylus something that will score a line for you score your line flip it around 21 and a half. score your line flip it around I'm going to do two and a half centimeters on all four sides it's the easiest box in the world to make because you don't need to make a base and a lid it's all in one so i've done four oh, haven't done this one thought i'd only done three there we go line it up now you can't see the score lines probably let me see if i can get them to can you see them doesn't matter now on the long side we are going to put it back in and we are going to score at 13 and a half centimeters and at 16 centimeters go okay done like that now that's all the scoring we need to do so i can put the scoreboard away now take your paper and you are going to fold it when you're scoring there's a raised side and the ditch side we are going to fold it with the raised side to the inside burnish now make sure it's level on all four sides make sure your ends um, line up so they're nice give it a good strong burnish just like so i think i've told you this before too but if you use the flat of your bone folder you get a better crease i don't know why but you get a better crease 
Okay, that's the outside ones done. Now we are going to fold the two centre score lines again. Give them a good burnish and you can just see it there. Now with these centre ones, because they act as the hinge part of your box, so to speak. Clip them over and burnish on the other side too. Okay. All right. That's all done. Now, looks like a flattened piece of box. We are going to cut on the flaps. This piece we're going to cut. Now, I like to cut them. I don't know if you can see that. Cut them on the... Hmm, cut it so that the raised bit from your scoring is on the flap side, if that makes sense. It just gives you a nicer finish on the outside of your box. Don't just cut them up to that first score line like so and I've got my trusty Fiskars um, oh these are handy dandy these little scissors the nice little point on them so that I can get right to the score line and two more to go there we go. And there we go. Now, that's pretty much a box done. But to make the flaps sit better, I'm going to take them. And if you can see, I'm going from the bottom corner to the top, just to the score line, cutting off a sliver just on the flap. This centerpiece, you'll do it on both sides just a little sliver on an angle it just makes them sit better and fold nicely when you come to stick it all together okay and we'll repeat that on this side now you know why i like my pointy scissors they get right into right up into there okay just like this now the beauty of this box is you can make it as big as you want it to be you can make it smaller if you've got 12 by 12 cardstock you can make it bigger if you get big sheets of card from the news agents or the art supply store or whatever you can make them bigger that's the box now Remember, the raised part of your score line is to the inside. Fold this flap over, get your handy dandy uh, glitter glue or whatever adhesive you are using. Make it something nice and strong. It's not going to come out. It's going to be muck up on me. I don't want it to be. Now, put it around the edges, bearing in mind that it's liquid glue, so it may squish out don't use too much you can add a bit more now can you see how nicely that corner comes together look at that do the same down here squish it up and line it up so it's really smooth rinse and repeat on the center flap And for the centre, that goes towards, make sure you just stick them in the same direction, actually, because it doesn't really matter. And the same thing, push them down, line up your edges. If your edges there are lined up, then your edges on the inside will be lined up too. Okay, and finish it off. Now, you can use um, double-sided tape. You can use tape runner if you want to. 
to adhere your flaps just make sure you line them up nicely because this is a presentation box so it's sort of adding to the wow factor of your gift and there you go box is done except that I didn't let it sit long enough for the glue there we go let's give it a second that glitter glue dries incredibly fast that's your box done now if you have a circle punch you can in the top edge here the center of the top edge here punch out a half circle which just makes it a little easier to open once it's all done but that is your box how easy is that you can't get much easier than making a box like that for your cards so your card kit in a box will all just fit in it. Just like so. I'll put this back. Put it upside down. So cards and envelopes, papers, threads. What else have we got to go in? The embellishments. Another little thing at the end. The bling flip it over down it goes and that is your box done ta-da now you can decorate the front you can leave it plain you can take some burlap and you can put some burlap around it going to do it burlap around it you can put flowers on it you can do all sorts of things ribbon bows where are my bows gone whatever you like you can just use ribbon layer it layer it up it looks lovely lay it up you can leave it plain and just put a top up on it it will be fine like that or you could I got enough. Oh, 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 oh. I'm enthusiastic. Got enough, I don't know. Might have enough. There you go. Tie it with some ribbon. Got my finger stuck. There we go. Just tie it with some ribbon. best part is with a box like this you can sugar it around jiggle it if you want to on the back here let me undo this and show you but on the back you can um, get a piece of white plain white or cream a light colour, cardstock or paper, write your message, you know, dear Jane Doe, many happy returns on your 133rd birthday, lots of love, Kath, stick that to the back. So it becomes, the gift actually becomes your greeting card and your gift all in one, if that makes sense. That's it. That's how easy it is to make a box simple so so simple no special skill required no special tools required you can do the scoring with a ruler like I said with a ruler and with the tip of a bone folder or a stylus or um, what have I got that's um, just trying to see what I've got in my bag of tricks that would work but something anything that's not going to pierce the paper, 
you can use as um, just do the scoring. And once you've done the scoring, it's just a matter of trimming the flaps, sticking them down, and your box is done. So there you go. Card kit in a box. Now you know how to do the card kit. And now you know how to do the box. And the measurements. You'll know, If you want to make different sizes, you'll have to do some math. But it's pretty much the length of whatever you want to go in the box plus the depth for the sides. The width will be depth of the side, the width of whatever you want to go in, depth of the side, width of whatever you want to go in, depth of the side, so that you can fold it over and close it. There you go. Really easy. I'm going to do another one because I've got another set that I need to get made. So let's get another one. And this one is going to go in. Where is it? Oh, where, where, where? I had it out. That's a very, very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Here we go. I found this one. Very, very, very pretty. Lavender. Okay. Sheet of A4 card stuff. We measure around two and a half centimetres on all sides, just like so. Then two and a half on all four sides. And then we measure. At 13.5, we score on the long side at 13.5, can you see? And then again at, to put the arm out, 16, uh, which is, there, right there. That's all your scoring done. And box number two, number three for today, is almost done. Flip it over so you can cut on the flaps. Sliver off, just a little sliver. Like so makes it makes it so much easier to um, line up the flaps if that sliver sliver is gone. I said that sliver. <laughs> okay. There we go. How much you embellish them will really determine. I didn't do the scoring, but that's mine. Got carried away with the cutting of the flax. So there we go. That's four. So much easier. You can do your scoring this way, it doesn't really matter. It's just easier to do it in one long piece. So I don't have to I'll go this. The same line up the edges. Yes. And we go down here. Make sure the edges are slide up. And 
pair. Make sure the edges are lined up. And then just reverse the inside, the center scores. Just give them a bit of flexibility. Okay. Do your flaps. It's way too much glue. Way, way too much glue. Oops. Hold it in place till it sticks. Lining up the edges, making sure they're nice and square. Let's see what I'm doing, just like so. To put the glue on these ones while I'm down here. Hey? and it's done. Well, a little more glue on this one, hey? Didn't give it enough time to just give it a couple of seconds to dry. And that will be it. And your box is done. you're impatient like me and don't give the edges enough the flaps enough time to dry there, there. but there it is there's another box done they only take a minute to make they are not difficult but they just make the presentation of your cards or whatever it could be hankies in there it could be little soaps in there it could be um, lavender sachets in there it could be anything whatever you can put in a box there you go Ta -da. making sure it all is nice and neat there's another one so that's how easy it is to make box a presentation box for your card let's do it this way they look prettier easy peasy like i said you can make them whatever size you want to as long as your card stock is big enough all right thank you for joining me if you're not already subscribed to our channel i would love it if you would like to subscribe if you click that subscribe button and then the little bell note, uh, the little bell next to it, because that will notify you every time we upload a new video. You'll be amongst the first in the world to see them, and you won't miss out. Okay, enjoy making boxes for your card kits. Enjoy making your card kits to add to your present box for your handmade Christmas. I'll be back very soon with another, um, hopefully useful video for a handmade Christmas. But until then, bye.